students got confused because they, they had trouble going from zeros to factors. They, they could follow the quadratic formula, but how I went from the answer of the quadratic formula into the zeros was like, whoa, that was too many steps. So again, let's break this down. Let's kind of do what we did in this last example. You can set each one of these equal to x and then solve for 0, right? So I'm just going to do this once because I think you guys already know that this, oh, actually, we got to do this again, two other things. So let's set this equal to x, and let's set the first one equal to x. We, were, we could do this to both of them, but I'm going to save us some time. If I want to use this, remember what I told you guys before you take your quiz. Do not subtract 1 half. Multiply by 2 and subtract 1. Yep. Therefore, now we can avoid fractions. All right. Now, the next thing is, guys, using inverse operations is not that difficult here. You're just subtracting 2. x minus 2 equals negative 3i. Add 3i. Add 3i. x minus 2 plus 3i equals 0. So that's how I was able to do it in my head. Because do you guys know what this other factor is? What would you do to solve for a 0 here? Subtract 2 and then subtract 3i. Right? You're just using inverse operations. So the important thing why I bring that up to you guys is if you want to find the factors, use your inverse operations, x minus 2 plus 3i, and then this one's x minus 2 minus 3i. And that's basically your two factors. Now, on that last problem that we had with the uh, quadratic formula, that one was a little different because I didn't have enough space to like re-show that. And it had fractions and radicals. And it was like, how do you get that? But it was just the same thing doing here. I, I was doing the same thing. Um, <clears throat> now, the trick, for those of you that want to see it, the trick goes like this. Typically, I told you guys to do this by using the box method. And there's nothing wrong with doing the box method if that's the way you want to do it then please multiply this out using the box method. You can probably do it almost as fast as we can do this next method. All right? But for those of you that do not want to spend the time in the box method and would like a shortcut, I will show you a shortcut. So the shortcut comes into using grouping symbols. If I group the first two terms of each of these factors, I notice that they're exactly the same. I also notice that the last two terms are exactly the same. And again, I have alternating powers. So when I have the first two terms are the same, the last two terms are the same, and I have alternating powers, I know that that is difference of two squares expanded. So to multiply it out, all I need to do is just multiply the first two terms and the last two terms. Much better than, what, you know, nine products <laughs> using the box method. So anyways, I get 2x minus 1 times, this is going to be x minus 2 times x minus 2, which is x minus 2 squared. I'll multiply that out later. 3i times negative 3i is a negative 9i squared. All right. x minus 2 um, squared, guys, that's a binomial squared. We've been doing plenty of expansions of those. That's just going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then what, we, what did we say i squared was? Negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9. Then we can really combine these. 4 plus positive 9 is 13. So if it's too much of a jump for you right now, that's fine. Go back to the box method. There's nothing wrong with the box method. I actually prefer the box method. But if you want something that might be a little bit easier for you, for some people it is, then use this method. But if it doesn't work, you don't have to use it. Now I have a binomial times a trinomial, so I'm just going to multiply this out uh, individually real quick for you. So this is 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 26x. And then we'll do minus x squared plus 4x minus 13. And then I combine my like terms. x squared, x squared, so it's a negative 9x squared plus 30 x minus 13. OK. That is done, guys. Thank you for cooperating for the live.